Hello, everybody. How are you? This is Uncle Bruce again, coming to you, talking to you about something interesting. And I've got Juvenile with me. How are you doing, Juvenile? Hey, Bruce. How are you doing? Hi, everybody. Hope everybody, everyone is doing well. So you picked out another article here that's interesting. And it's light. Yeah. You said it was light. And I agree. It's it's a light conversation. It's not heavy talking about some deep topics, but it's interesting talking depends about on the, the depends on the point of view, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to share my screen here and to show you the article that we are talking about. It says 13 hobbies for couples to try that'll give you some quality time together. So good topic to talk about. Um, talk about being in a relationship. It could be a uh, husband, wife. It could be um, your brother, your sister, or a good friend. It could be anybody. But it's just something fun to do with other people. So yeah. I thought it was a very good topic to select. So um, what is the first thing on your list there? Do you remember the first thing you talked about? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the number one is, you know, to keep... Uh, to keep the, the activity to walk together. Mm -hmm. And I, I can say in my own experience, it's very good to do yes. with someone, you know. I used to do that with my my partner, my, you know, my, yeah, I can say my wife, because mm -hmm. when you are living together, it's a wife. <laughs> it is. Yeah. So, and uh, it's very good to, to it's very good to to keep some conversation, you know, and um, to see everything in the streets, uh, things that you do not, you know, take in account when you are by uh, uh, driving or mm -hmm. in your car. So it's a good time to to talk. Very I good. I agree. I agree. Yeah. So um, my wife and I like to go traveling, and we like to see museums when we travel. So I need to have good um, ability to walk and to enjoy the time together. So I'm doing my best to keep that up since I'm a little bit older than most people here coming to watch our videos or <laughs> listen to us in a podcast so walking together good um, yeah what is the next thing the next one it's uh, it's something that i love it you know it's uh to cook or bake something you know together in despite of of it's it's delicious or not because it depends of uh, the ability of each one so uh it's another thing that I love it to do. Mm -hmm. I love to do, you know, uh, to cook together, to open a bottle of wine and talk about life, you know, to to have some, you know, some some funny to get, some fun together. Mm -hmm. You know, laugh a lot, talk about life, talk about uh funny things. It's good as well. Yes. Uh, today, my wife and I went to the gym. We go together, but she has a personal trainer. I just train on my own. But afterwards, we went to a restaurant. And when we sat down, as I was sitting down, actually, a couple minutes later, um, there was a lady from the gym. That we, you know, and she was sitting at a different table. And I didn't feel comfortable just saying, come on, because I don't know her well. So when my wife got there, she said, hey, come on. Join us at the table. So she did. So we talked about things of traveling and stuff like that. It's always nice to be with somebody sharing a meal or cooking mm -hmm. a meal. It's, it's yeah. better than being alone. I don't like to eat alone myself. Yeah, yeah. It's good. It's good. I think uh, for me, uh, the, the, the time of, uh, you know, have some meal, it's... Uh, it's like uh, almost a, a, a right, you know, when mm -hmm. you when you can 
it, it's important to connect with the the, the meal as, as well. Mm -hmm. It it maybe sounds a a little weird, but uh, it's true mm -hmm. to connect to the to the meal, you know, uh, um, to peace your mind and talk about uh, you know good things, good vibes, mm -hmm. and uh, to enjoy the time together and the meal, uh, of course, you know. For sure, for sure. And so the next one on the list is to play pickleball. You ever heard of pickleball? No, this one, I, I don't think know pickleball so. <laughs> is like um, tennis, but on a smaller court. So here in Brazil, uh... I learned to play beach tennis. And I really like beach, beach tennis because it's in the beach sand. So it's mm -hmm. nice and soft. If you fall down, it doesn't matter. It's okay. You know, and uh, it's, it's fun because it's a smaller court. You don't need to run mm -hmm. as much. But you still need okay. good technique to do well. And so they're just ba basically saying play a sport together. You know, you could yeah, say just, just play sure. a sport together. So uh, beach volleyball is something my wife and I learned, and we like it. But we haven't played it for a while now. I think it'd be nice to, you know, the rackets are a little bit expensive here in Brazil. 400 EIs, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of expensive. Yeah. So, Oh, sure. uh, but when you buy the racket, you don't need to buy another one for a long uh -huh. time, probably. So, that, you know, you just need to keep up with the balls. Balls are a little expensive, too. But, oh, oh well, it's not terrible. It's something doable. We can get that. Mm -hmm. And then to, you know, have time spending in a sport, which is good for your health and good for the relationship. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Another thing I I, I like to do is ride bike together. Mm -hmm. It's another thing, you know, amazing thing to do. Amazing activity. It's another, you know, for your health. And uh, to see the, 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 the city, the, 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 you know, the neighborhood. And it's yeah, amazing. My, we live on a hill. So when we go someplace, <laughs> we go down the hill. Then we have to go okay. up the hill. And it's a big hill. Okay. Uh -huh. So... It's not something that we uh, do, but we have bikes, but we don't ride them. It's like, why did I buy them? I don't know, man. I need to do something uh, because we can go to um, the USP, the, the Uni University of Sao Paulo yeah. campus. And the yeah. campus is nice. It's it's not that hilly and it's big. So it's a nice yeah. place to ride a bike. But then I need to transport the bike. I need a bike carrier because mm -hmm. I tried taking the bikes in the car yeah, it's not that bad, that good, you know. I, I think it's better to put a bike rack on the back of the car or something, or on top of the car, one of the two, and then yeah. go bike riding. I agree, bike riding's good. Yeah. So the next thing on the list is what? Volunteer. It's, it's, yeah, industry. it's very interesting. I used to, my, uh, 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 I think my myself i used to 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 volunteer some with some causes like uh, uh for example i was uh leading some projects uh for some on on a, ongs you mm -hmm. know um offering them some help on uh management issues Mm. Okay, like a financial people management or how to attract and uh, and uh, to admit volunteers and other stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's good. It's good. And uh, but I, I I I I haven't I have not done this with my wife yet. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but it's good. It's a it's a good idea. Okay, yep. My wife and I are involved in a um a community activity. It's on every Wednesday night, so tomorrow night, and we go all the time. It's called Celebrate Recovery. And it's for people who want to to go through their their pain of life, mm -hmm. the, you know, the difficult moments of life and try to change things in their life because things that happen in our past, they affect us. I remember yeah. my mother used to say, sticks and stones can break your bones, but words can never hurt you. 
but it's not true. Words do hurt. <laughs> so yeah, um, for sure. It's important for us to to go deep into these areas and to discover why is it that I do what I do, you know, watching pornography or something like that. So uh, in this this group in particular, we go into those areas that maybe caused some of these actions that we're doing, that we're involved in, that are not good, alcohol, drugs, whatever it may be. We go in, we start to develop our uh, mental life our emotional mm -hmm. life and it's very good for us very good so we enjoy that that's what we do together we do that on every wednesday night and so the next one is an interesting one too um yeah for sure talking about starting a book club yeah two, a book club for two <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so, that's good you know reading a book together is interesting my wife and i read the bible um, mm -hmm. and we talk about, it. we make comments about what we read, what we think. So that's an interesting part that, um, I'm trying to do, but reading any book, you know, we have many, many books and reading mm -hmm. another book is cool. Um, I have this book here. It's about, um, emotional intelligence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a and classical. So understanding this was very important for me to understand that one big factor is to understand change in our life. When mm -hmm. I can deal with change, because things are always changing, but it's hard sometimes to have change in our lives. You know, especially in your job, when you have to change your job and it's not something you really wanted to do, it's not fun, man, being what we call unemployed. But you know what I tell mm -hmm. them? Uh, people that I hear, they say, well, I'm unemployed. You know what I tell them? I'm in between jobs. I had a job and I'm going to have another job. Maybe it's with your company. <laughs> yeah, because exactly, when, when exactly. you say unemployed, unemployment has a, a negative significance in our yeah. language. Okay. So, but if you say you're in between jobs, it's true. And it's not as negative. It's more neutral. So it's a better exactly. expression to say I'm in between jobs rather than to say I'm unemployed. So I, I taught some people about that and they, they like that. It's a good good way to look at it. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And uh, what you are saying, it's, it's a big truth, you know, because the changes and uh, the good stuff starts on, uh, on inside our mind. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if you think in a positive way and you, you you try to do good things, you know, to have good habits. Everything starts to change. Okay, it's not a uh, uh, formula for everybody, but in mm -hmm. general, works. Right, right. <laughs> and I have a. Uh, I remember something I learned. It's called PMA, means positive mental attitude. So mm -hmm. when we look at things. And we say, oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Hey, just say, hey, it's okay. I can go through this situation. It's going to be all right. I just need to have a positive mental attitude about what I'm going through. So a lot of things that you learn, just little tidbits of information can help a lot. They can help a lot. Exactly. So reading, reading is very good. Reading a book exactly. together is excellent. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, here is talking about attending a weekly trivia night. Um, I don't know of anything around here in Brazil <laughs> that's like this. Actually, actually, I didn't understand what is trivia. You know, well, it's like, it's, like, it's like interesting information, but it's like, eh, it's, a, it's not that important, you know? <laughs> in fact, we have a game in the United States called Trivial Pursuit. And it's a, game, uh, it's a board game, and you move your token on the board to win when you answer the questions. If you answer them correctly. Uh, okay. so, so, so here's a yeah. question. Here's a question for you, uh, Juvenile. What is the fastest healing muscle on the body? The fastest healing by a muscle on the body. And, yeah, and, good point. Good point. And, Maybe the brain. <laughs> ah, the tongue. The tongue. Think about it. When you bite your tongue, I bite my tongue sometimes, okay, by mm -hmm. axes. Yeah, ah, yeah. Man. 
why did I bring my tongue? Because yeah. I was trying to maybe eat food too fast or something, you know, and then I bite my tongue, but it, it heals very fast. It heals very fast. So it, I, I had that question and I got it right. I said, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is like a trivial idea, but it's interesting, but it's not yeah. that, that important. But, you know, these are games you can play. Um, the Americans have these types of games. It's like it makes you think. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we like to play cards and other games, but uh, that's just one of the games that we play. All right. What's another okay. one? Uh, I like uh, that one. I like this one. Yeah. Whether well, around the farmers markets or local festival. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You know, in, yeah. in my area, we have a, a, a street market or a farmer's market. They call it Feta. Mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. And so I like to go to those. And it's funny. Hey, 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 hey. We're five yeah, yeah. Five yeah. for <laughs> or something, you know. So it, that's interesting. But it's like I like to look at the foods. And then I like to do comparative shopping. I compare prices. And I say, okay, yeah. well, that's a better price. The the food looks similar, so I'm going to buy the the lesser expensive um, product. But I like, you know, where I like to go, Siaza. Yeah, I like the Siaza in Sao Paulo. It's the biggest one in all of South America. The yes. one in Sao Paulo, it's amazing. Yes, the selection, and they have one for uh, vegetables and fruits. I go to the one normally for flowers and plants. I like to go to that. Yeah. One. But I, I've been to the one for vegetables and fruits one time too. It's smaller, but it's still pretty good. And they have yeah. uh, they have the mortadella sandwiches. Woo! <laughs> and uh, it's amazing to to buy some fish as well. Uh -huh. If you like fish, it's yes. amazing. It's amazing. I haven't yeah, been yeah. to the fish market part of the uh, Siaza. I know there's a, a stationary fish market. In mm -hmm. one of the entrances to the the area, man, that's a big complex, huge complex. Yes, I mean it's like wow. So anyway, I, I like I, to I like to do that. Yeah, I'm not uh, you know a usual buyer there because mm -hmm. because of the distance or maybe because I'm a little a little bit lazy to go there <laughs> it's a little distance and it's a little yeah. bit inconvenient you need to pay for parking there yeah um mm -hmm. and then if you want to have somebody carry something out for you you need to pay that guy to carry the things out to your car so i mean it's a mm -hmm. little bit inconvenient but you don't need to do that but i carry a little cart sometimes and i carry um things in my cart like for when you go to this uh the feta you can bring things in a cart for vegetables yes. and stuff and I use that sometimes in the uh, the one in Siaza for the plants and um, the uh, flowers. See, I go to the flower part sometimes for parties when we mm -hmm. have a party. But see, I don't do it with my wife. I do it by myself. It'd be mm -hmm. much better if I did it with my wife. But eh, yeah, she doesn't want to get up. <laughs> you have to get up early in the morning for that. Yeah. If you want to get, yeah. you know, the good selections, people are up early. That actually starts early in the morning, like one or two in the morning, the Siaza starts. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that until I went there. And it was about 11 o'clock. I went there. They were closing up, man. The 11 o'clock. Yes. Yes. Because they were there I early think, in the morning. I think, that, I think there is a day during the day, during the, the week, uh, which the... This market works uh, in the afternoon, but I'm oh, not sure. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, okay. it's it 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 called. Uh, it is called uh, like a retailer mm. retailer market or something like that. You know, okay. yeah. uh, in Portuguese, in Portuguese would be varejão. Okay. Yeah, like for, you know, and, like selling uh, to the to the individuals. Yeah. And uh, it occurs during the the, the 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 week and at the weekends on set on on Saturday morning, too early. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So the next yeah. uh, item on the list is to do yoga or a workout at the gym or something yeah. like that. So I'm doing that now, but I don't do it with my wife, you know, uh, directly. Because like I said, she has her personal training and I, I just train on my own. 
but doing a- exercising, you know, like they talk about the pickleball, which, you know, I can equate that mm-hmm. to beach tennis. So, you know, doing some physical activity is always good. Walking, another thing they mentioned. So these are good activities to do with our spouses, our our loved one. I like the idea. Absolutely. I used to meditate with my wife. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think we we lost the habit. It's a, it's a pity. I I need to you know to retake this activity because it's very good for you know for your uh, for the mind yeah. yeah yeah so the next one on the list is uh to do acting or improv classes okay yeah I, I haven't decided to do, <laughs> but one thing i came it came to my mind as i was reading the the list one thing we could do is dancing we like to dance a little bit you know, we yeah, I'm learn. not. I'm not a big fan of dancing, but it's something good to do together. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's <laughs> it's healthy, you know, to yeah. hold each other and to move together on the dance floor to the rhythm of the music. Um, and we have a dance studio near us, so that may be something we might look want to look into, is to have this activity. So, and then learning another language. Um, yeah. My wife already knows English very well. She's Brazilian, but she knows English very well. She lived in the United States for like 10 years, 11 years. So she learned it in the university. She attended there. But I think that it'd be good for us to learn another language. Like if we're planning to move, uh, to, to visit France or planning to visit Italy, we can learn some of the language before we go together. You know, mm-hmm. we have Duolingo. <laughs> yeah. We can and do Duolingo. Duolingo. Duolingo is very good, man. Yes, it very, is. Very, very good. I actually yeah. pay for it. I have the professional Duolingo mm-hmm. because then I can make multiple mistakes and keep on going. If you have the yeah. free, free plan, after you make about four or five mistakes, they say, okay, you're done for today, son. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, daddy. You know. Yeah, but, that's uh, good. If that's you have the, good. You have to, in fact, I read an article about Duolingo. They make people pay to get more you pay for more right mm-hmm. but the people who pay are actually paying for the people to be free mm. so if you want to do it for free you can in english brazil yeah. we we took that free away because people were not using it they said oh if there's no cost there's no value and that's not true but in english brazil exactly. it's a high value and i we gave exactly. it to free for free one time a week and people just said eh, I don't want to go. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now yeah, it's 20 yeah, yeah. Now it costs you 20 eyes to go to English Brazil one time a week. That's only two cups of coffee. But that little 20 eyes helps English Brazil to pay the mm-hmm. teachers, pay the organizers, pay the infrastructure. So, you know, uh, having the ability to do something like Duolingo, learning a new language is excellent. But many people just don't see the value. They don't see the value because sure. it's free. There's no cost. This is a Brazilian mentality, I believe. For sure. The, the Brazilians and, think uh, if it's free, it's not worth anything. And I think it it, it is. And uh, on the other hand, maybe because you know people start start something uh, in the beginning with uh, you know a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, after some time, you know, they. Uh, they let it go. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. After we we came back from our vacations when we we went to Atacama, mm-hmm. and uh, in, in in this uh, last trip, my wife that uh, does not speak English, she does not speak Spanish or other another language, you know. Uh, so the the value of uh, speak another language, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. it's very good to interact with uh, other people to to learn uh, other things about the culture, the the culture of the local we are uh, spent some days. Mm-hmm. So she started the Duolingo. So really, that's great, man. See. Yeah, That's let's really good. see. Yeah, to 
in order to learn Spanish because I don't know she she has some block with English. I don't know why. But, uh... <laughs> well, I can say this: that the English schools in Brazil generally mm -hmm. they are um, always talking about money. Okay, mm, could talking be. about money, talking about you need to pay for everything. You need to pay for books from the school. And yeah. they don't teach you to talk. They teach you the book. They teach yeah. you the book. So when you go through this process of trying to learn another language, and you go through this and you learn the book, but you still can't talk, it's like, why did I learn the language? To read? Only to read? To understand? Yeah. No, I want to talk. Yeah. I want to speak. That's why English Brazil exists, to help people to learn how to talk. Yes, so you're right. It's, you're it's, right. A, it's a great tragedy in Brazil that the schools do not focus on teaching the people how to speak. And the, the yeah. public schools don't teach you how to speak. They teach you the book. They teach you the lesson so you can pass the lesson and go on to your next grade. <laughs> it's sad, but it's true. So, you know, there's a lot of improvement that can happen. The next thing on the list is wine tasting, your favorite area. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> so I think that you and I need to get together sometime this year and mm -hmm. have some wine tasting and food tasting together with our spouses. Mm. It could be at our house or your house. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> for sure. But this for is sure. an area we that we definitely could... Uh, share time with our spouses and also with mm -hmm. other friends. And I know you talk about from time to time that you have friends over to share with yeah. the meal and stuff. I think it's great. That's what we need to do. Yeah. To yeah. Share more time and I, 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 I like to, to receive my, my friends in my home to cook for them. Mm -hmm. And of course, um, in this occasions, it, for me, it's a good reason to open some bottles of wine. So, <laughs> Man, yes, <laughs> I agree. So I'm yeah, waiting yeah. for the, I'm waiting for the invitation then. <laughs> for sure. So the for last sure. thing I'm let's set up. <laughs> the let's last organize. thing I'm list for today is talking about hobbies. What are your mm -hmm. hobbies? Do you have any hobbies? Uh, uh I, I can say cooking, watching movies, reading books. Okay. Um, to know about culture, arts, music, and so. Okay. Man. Do you do you share those things with your your spouse? Yeah, yeah. We used to at least once a week to go to the movies to see, you know, good movies, not cult movies, but mm -hmm. good movies. And uh, after that, to go to uh, you know some some restaurant or bar to to eat something and to discuss about the, the, the movie because uh, these movies that uh, we used to, to watch mainly uh, or in general has some, not a moral, but has some meaning mm -hmm. to, to discover yes. or, you know, to talk about. That's the point. Okay. So it's good. It's good. My hobby is stamp collecting. I don't think my wife wants to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to start a new hobby. It's called genealogy. Okay? Understanding genealogy. understanding the family tree, you know, with uh, generations okay, okay. and things. So I'm going to start that with my sister. She said that she would do that with me. The last time we were going to do it a couple weeks ago, she was not feeling well. So mm -hmm. I think that we'll try it maybe this next week or this week. I don't know. We'll have to mm -hmm. find out if we have some time just to dedicate one hour or two hours to talk about family, you know, talk about grandparents that are no longer with us, aunts and uncles. I think it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah, sure. So listen, guys, we're done for today. We greatly appreciate you listening in and uh, watching if you're watching in the video. But either either way, it's always good to share this time together with you and to have fun, fun talking and discussing things about in our lives and things that are in general with what we can do in our lives. So these topics today about what we can do with our loved ones is great. I think it was really nice. 
Good conversation, Juvenile. Thank you, man. Okay, okay. I am always available and always, as usual, it's good to, to be here. So you guys have a good week, and we'll talk to you next time. Thanks, Juvenile. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.